If you're a fan of Turok, Dinosaur Hunter or Turok 2 Seeds of Evil, I've got some good news for you, as Night Dive Studios, who are a company that specialise in the restoration of classic PC games, is in the process of restoring both of those games. Now, in case you're unaware, both of these were originally developed for PC way back in 1997, and also for the N64 in 1999, and both of them are going to be remastered with enhanced graphics as well as a few other improvements. These games will begin available, available for sale exclusively through Steam, Humble Bundle, GOG, Gamersgate, Green Man Gaming, as well as, of course, the developer's website. And I have a little bit of a statement here from Stephen Kick, who is the CEO and founder of Night Dive Studios, who said, quote, When Turok Dinosaur Hunter was first released, it was nothing short of revolutionary. To the point, no game had ever offered the combination of graphics and an open world environment that Turok featured. We are very excited to have the opportunity to bring this great franchise back to life and be able to share these great titles with today's gaming audience. So there you have it, a rather unexpected development, and I think this could be interesting, but the thing is with that games this old, there's only so much you can do without fully remaking them. Because, well, if you look at the screenshots for the original game, it hasn't aged brilliantly. So it's probably just going to be a case of upscaling the resolution and making it playable on modern systems. Maybe a bit of a graphic shine up, but there's only so much you can do without completely re actually remaking the game with the game this old. I suggest you check out some of the screenshots and you'll see what I mean. Still, I'd love to hear some thoughts of how many people are actually interested in this game, either because you played it back in the day or because the screenshots or the concept has interested you. Do let me know in the comments. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.